Hello guys and welcome back to Mathematics class with Teacher Matthew. Today we're going to talk about time, introducing seconds. Now let's take a look at this analog clock. What do you know about the different hands on this clock? This red hand is the seconds hand. It counts the seconds. So what numbers would you say as the second hand moves around the clock? Well, as the second hand move around the clock, we only talk about the numbers of the hours and the minutes. How does the time on the digital clock match the time on the analog clock? This matches the hour hand. This matches the minute hand. And this matches the seconds hand. There's the matching as you can see on the screen. What happens to the minute hand when the second hand passes 12? Well, when the second hand passes 12, that is 60 seconds gone. So the minute end will move one number up. When talking about the time, most people only want to know the minutes that have passed, the hour or the number of minutes to the next hour. And for the abbreviation, the minute, we can write it as M-I-N. The hour, we can shorten it for H. And the abbreviation for the seconds is S. And as we all know, there are 60 seconds in one minute. There are 60 minutes in one hour and there are 24 hours in one day. Seconds are also used when running a race or in a sporting event. Seconds are recorded. Records are often broken by a few seconds. So how could you calculate the total number of seconds in three minutes? The total number of seconds in three minutes, that will be 60 times three. So there are 180 seconds in three minutes. Now onto the workout, complete each table. For part A, we have Half of a minute will give us 30 seconds. One minute will give us 60 seconds. Five minutes will give us 300 seconds. For part B, three minutes will give us 180 seconds. 90 seconds will give us one and a half minutes. Four and a half Minutes will give us 270 seconds. Number two, two runners compared their final race time. Write the exact difference between the two times. So what is the difference between the two times? So they both use one hour, they both use five minutes and the seconds is the difference. So we calculate the seconds, 38, minus 32 will give us six seconds. Part B, we subtract 34 minutes and one second from 35 minutes, 28 seconds. And that will give us 87 seconds. Part 
part C. We have 58 seconds. And part D, we have 67 seconds. Now, number three, solve each problem. Show your thinking. The microwave instructions say to heat the pie on high of four and a half minutes. Ken stops the microwave after three minutes, 52 seconds. How many seconds are left on the microwave clock? So four and a half minutes will be four minutes, 30 seconds. So subtract three minutes, 52 seconds from four minutes, 30 seconds. And that will give us 38 seconds. Part B, it took Kate 24 minutes and 32 seconds to complete the race. Her sister runs the same distance, but five seconds faster. What time did Kate's sister complete the race? So we're going to subtract five seconds from Kate's time, which will give us 24 minutes, 27 seconds. Now let's go on to the first finishers. Sam used one cup of sand to make this timer. The timer goes for 20 seconds. It needs to run for exactly one minute. So it decides to add more sand. How many more cups of sand should he add? So for this answer, we subtract 20 from 60 seconds. We have 40. So how many 20 seconds in 40. So 40 divided by 20 is the same as 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 2. We can also use this method. 40 divided by 4 equals 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So 2 cups will be added to make 1 minute. Practice 1.10. I want you to do this and submit to the teacher in the group line. 